Hello there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again for another wine review. And if I am here, you know that it must be Wednesday. Hashtag Wine Wednesday. So now, very simple system. I go to the store and I pick out wines that you find on your everyday shelves of your liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shop shelves. Very simple system. Thumbs up. These are my opinion. Thumbs up means I highly recommend that wine. Three quarters, you know what, I would drink that and I would enjoy that and share it with friends. And if it's good enough, I maybe keep some bottles on hand, check out the aging. Halfway, not so much for me, but maybe for someone, you give it a try, let us all know what you think. Thumbs down, oh, very simple. Get that wine out of here. It's just not gonna make the cut, at least for my palate. So today's show, we're gonna be going to Germany and more specifically, Dr. L, or Dr. Lucent, 2018 Riesling. Now, if you're familiar with the Lucent brands of wines, you know that Dr. L is committed, absolutely, positively, without a doubt, committed to Riesling. This man knows Riesling. We got Dr. J in basketball. Well, we got Dr. L in wine. So Dr. L, or Dr. Lucent, uh, Ernst Lucent, uh, specializes, focuses in Riesling, all things Riesling. He does a very good job. I've always been a fan of their wines for many, many years. And I would think that this would not be any different. But you just never know. it. We're all entitled to having an off year. So the 2018 Riesling comes from the Mosel. Once upon a time, it was called the Mosel. That's M-O-S-E-L. Mosels are Ruar. Now it's just simply called Mosel. So we're talking about wines, and I especially enjoy the dry versions from the Mosel. You know, crisp, you know, mouth-watering acidity. You know, minerality, slate, you know, it's like the, the tasting of the water as it rushes across the stones, you know, in, in, in the streams. So, Mosel, here we're going to be drinking Dr. L, 2018. Now, on that nose, just pouring it out of the glass, apple, total apple. Oh, my gosh. Now, if you like apples, you'll like Riesling. You like Riesling, you'll like apples, you would think. So, nice apple, just total apple on this one here fresh just very fresh apple all right now for the rinse okay it's very rare that you come across a wine that the taste is just boom that's it nothing more apple nothing more but crisp you know I would go more with a honey crisp apple and a cross between honey crisp and golden delicious you know on this one here but it, it's very nicely balanced for Riesling and that was just by Ritz you know so when I talk about acidity it's not spiking acidity you know it's not dull acidity it's just right there in the middle you know but just brings all the flavors together so now that was the Ritz here's the taste Now, again, for me, when I'm tasting wine, I want it to just take over my entire mouth. Not just my palate, my entire mouth. There's an acidity, making the mouth water again. But it mellows out real nice. And it mellows out across the palate. So very crisp, very refreshing, definite apple and minerality. On that finish, you get more uh, a subtle mineral taste. Very, very subtle. But again, it all comes together nicely in this package. Now, this wine comes in at 8.5% alcohol. And what I learned from following Dr. L on his platforms and, and participating in some of his live presentations is that they do a great thing with, with the Riesling. You know, the alcohol can be low, which by all standards in industry, we think if it's a low alcohol, it's a sweet wine. But that's not necessarily so. I found from Dr. L, you know, depending on the year and what's happened with their wines, they can come in a low alcohol, but the wines can be dry. So what we have here is a wine. So if we go dry, sweet, we have a wine that's right there in the middle, but it doesn't it doesn't go sweet. You know, it's it's very very nicely balanced. You know, I mean, I can enjoy this 2018. Hmm. If you like the taste of apples, crisp apples. You'll enjoy this. Now, for the grade, 2018, Dr. L, Riesling, three quarters. I'm going to give it three quarters because it's not going to knock it out of the box. You know, it has a hit of sweetness to it, but it's not cloyingly sweet. 
has a good balance for three quarters. I'd be very interested to see how this would age. So I'm gonna have to get myself another bottle, a couple of bottles, and put this on ice for a while and see what happens. You know, maybe five years from now, see how it balances out. So 2018, Dr. L. Riesling from the Mosul will get a three quarters from your Wisconsin wine guy. And as always, let your palate be the guy in selecting your next wine. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.